man who is in charge of another website that is in on strike today, Rob Biskiza, managing editor of the Bong Bong blogging site. Thanks for being with us. Uh, what's your biggest fear over this anti-piracy legislation? Our fear is that the law would have unintended consequences and that it could be abused to threaten innocent websites like ours. But the it law is badly written, it's full of vague descriptions of technical stuff, and it creates censorship tools right out of the authoritarian playbook. So if you wrote a book, made a film, or composed a song, wouldn't you want to make sure your work was protected from someone effectively stealing it on the Internet? Of course, but the thing is, in years of these laws and aggressive litigation from the industry, none of it has ever had the slightest impact on piracy. So there's no reason to think that pirates wouldn't be able to find ways around it this time as well. But there would still be all these new legal mechanisms ready to be abused. So what's the benefit for anyone? Where do you think uh, the middle ground is here in stopping the flood of Internet piracy, while at the same time keeping the Internet's founding ideals of being open uh, as they are? Well, one middle ground is that laws could be written in consultation with the technical community instead of rushed through by the media business, targeted carefully at specific criminal acts, and avoid some of the kind of draconian and Internet-breaking measures that these laws in the United States outline. But... I mean, I say that, but the thing is, the Internet, the way it works, it turns piracy into to a general problem. And I don't think that there are any easy answers. How much are the anti-piracy moves potentially opening the door to the American government and trying to exert its control over the wider Internet? I mean, after all, if I quote someone in an article, could I feel the force of the law? Well, there's a problem, and it's a problem that's happening in other jurisdictions as well. For example, uh, London in England is uh, England has very aggressive libel laws. So people, because everything is published everywhere on the internet, people will shop for the venue in London when they want to sue someone for libel. And the same could be true for copyright infringement when this kind of thing goes through. The basic problem is that um, U.S. bodies uh, have been given control of fundamental parts of the internet, like the domain name system. And the more U.S. politicians try to interfere with how it works, the bigger a problem it becomes for the rest of the world. Uh, there's strong opposition to these bills. I mean, even the White House says that it isn't behind them. What do you think the real chances are of this piracy bill actually becoming a law? Well, one hopes that it's a very low chance, and it's uh, looking less likely now that the White House uh, has said that it doesn't like the bill. And uh, pretty much everyone has said, except uh, you know, the entertainment industry, the pharmaceutical industry, uh, that they don't want the law to pass. Uh, but that's why we're doing this blackout stuff at Web, at Boing Boing and Wikipedia, is to illustrate for everyone what will happen if the laws do pass. And uh, the bill sponsors have proved that they're determined to get it passed however they, however they can. Right. Rob Biskis, the managing editor of the Boing Boing Technology and Culture website. Thanks for your input. Thank you. Well, your opinion matters to us. So we're asking